Welcome to a demonstration of the pH interactive illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the numerical relationship between a solution's hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations and the pH values used to report these concentrations. The illustration must be initialized with the set reset button before it's run. The responsiveness of this illustration will depend upon the processing power of the computer it is run on. It may run slowly on some computers. The slider across the top can be used to slow down or speed it up as needed. Once initialized, the main window shows the labels for a tr table that can be used to show the number of moles and the number of molecules of both hydrogen and hydroxide ions per liter of a solution. These switches to the lower left can be used to show or hide the numbers in the table. Below the table is a cartoon representation of a water molecule, a hydrogen ion, and a hydroxide ion. Below these is a chemical equation showing the equilibrium relationship between the, two com the three components of a water solution. The bottom half of the window contains a bar graph showing the hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations in the solution. To respond to user input, the illustration must be running. And once running, the buttons below the run button can be used to add hydrogen or hydroxide ions to the solution. The number of moles added with each click of, of these buttons can be altered using the pull-down menu below the buttons. To begin, the pH is set at 7, and the graph shows that both the hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations are 10, 1 times 10 to the minus 7th moles per liter. The amount that will be added by clicking the buttons is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles. Clicking the Add Hydrogen Ion button adds 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles of hydrogen ions to the solution. Giving a starting, given a starting concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7, this addition will double the concentration to 2 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. The cartoon representation demonstrates that some of the added hydrogen ions combine with hydroxide to form water. This interaction between the hydrogen and hydroxide ions is what causes hydro hydroxide ion concentrations to go down as hydrogen ion concentrations go up. Continued additions of hydrogen ions cause the pH to drop. And the graph shows an increase in hydrogen ion concentration and a decrease in hydroxide ions. However, each new hydroxide ion, each new addition will lower the pH less than the previous one because as the hydrogen ion concentration increases, the new ions added represent a smaller portion of the total amount already present. Only the first addition doubled the concentration. After nine additions of 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles of hydroxide ions, the hydroxide ion concentration has increased tenfold to 1 times 10 to the minus 6, and the pH has gone down by one unit. As pH goes down further, the number of moles added per click needs to be changed in order to get a significant change in pH. If we change it to 1 times 10 to the minus 4, you'll see that the, gra the pH and the graph will change dramatically with that addition. The response to additions of different amounts of each ion can be explored by altering the type and number of moles of ions added.
This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the illustration.